To an actor, you always have to have a script, but I may try not to rely on this too much. But what I want to talk about is Betty's connection. Pardon? My name is Tom Haskell. I danced for Betty from 1973 until 1976 when I graduated. Then I'm coming back, just so you know. So what I want to talk about a little bit is Betty and connections and how she linked things together, even when she didn't know it, and about how there was cause and effect. Now, the list I'm going to share with you may sound a little bit like the begats from the Bible, as in one leads to the next, leads to the next. I prefer to think of this as the Betty effect, and this is how it goes. So, an Iowa State architecture student hears from his advisor that he needs one more physical education credit to graduate. Oops. A fraternity brother suggests introduction to modern dance. He goes, well, it's fun, there's music, and the girls are cute. He takes the class from a really peppy instructor whose favorite leotard was lime green, fuchsia, and royal blue. This led to another dance class, which led to more dance classes, which led to the piece called Paint Your Wagon, which was his very first dance experience ever, all guys at Simpson College, which led to orchises, which led to Barche, which led to the Iowa State Dance Company, which led to In Cahoots, which was an independent student com company, which led to the Anatoman Dance Award. And then this guy graduated. And at Luther College, he was an adjunct instructor of, what else, beginning modern dance, right? <laughs> which led to an Iowa Arts Council artist in resid residency in Northeast Iowa, which led to him choreographing the musical Sondheim for the University of Iowa, where he met his future wife, which led, you see where this is going, to him following her out to the East Coast when he went to graduate school, which led to him joining this company as a founding member, a dance company, which performed throughout New England for the next 20 years. Uh, oh, by the way, I, he did get the girl, he's still married. <laughs> <laughs> well, all of this took place over 50 years, and it's all linked together, but when you go backwards from thing to thing to thing, it all started with a young man's chance encounter with the introduction to modern dance, and that is Betty's gift. She created opportunity. She would plant seed, she'd dump water on it, she would nurture it, and then she'd stand back and see what showed up. In my case, it was life altering. And this is Betty's legacy. I would say that each of you has your own Betty effect, where you can take where we are now and go backward, point by point, until you came back, especially you guys, because your family, to the very first time that you had your first Betty moment. And as Phyllis was saying, this is her great legacy. That she can start out with something, let it grow and develop, and we are the result. We are Betty's legacy. Thank you.